Okay, here we go. Okay, we are we are recording. Okay. Okay. Right. Oh my goodness. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Aloha to Hawaii. Aloha. <laughs> e e Hawaii, right? Yeah. Good. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. I want to welcome my wonderful guest. He's been so patient as I try to figure all this out. I want to welcome Lance Brooks. And so um, I want to just read a little bit about you before you actually start um, sharing your story. Okay. Okay. So, so Lance Brooks, you are an intuitive life coach. So this is everybody now. He's an intuitive life coach and lecturer who guides you to see yourself in your best and highest potential and then guides you to help you create it and live it. Two, it's just that simple. I agree. It's not textbook knowledge, but using the wisdom from within to create the life that you desire on purpose. It's his passion teaching people the why and how to apply spiritual laws to your life and experience the God within. I love that. That is such an awesome, awesome bio. Like, oh, thank you. yeah, thank you. well, it's, it's so simple and yet powerful. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so what I want you to tell the viewers uh, is a little bit about you. And you can start from when you were a baby. That's up to you. But, you know, since you're so patient, you can just just tell me oh. anything that you feel is important um, to get you to where you are now doing this wonderful life coaching. Well, um, first of all, I always had these little beings in my life. I call them beings, like perfectly strangers that I do not know always was telling me ever since I was, oh my God, um, about six or seven, oh. like that, you know, around that time, mm -hmm. uh, was telling me that, you know, God is going to call you to do great things, and, you know, and I didn't want to do that, you know, I, <laughs> I was... I was totally against it because mm -hmm. um, I looked at, you know, God and, and uh, that's boring stuff. I want to play sports. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've heard you know, that. Uh -huh. um, Lord and behold, you know, after so many years of getting dings and perfectly um, strangers I do not know telling me that all the way up to today. Um, wow. was telling me things and um, yeah, so it's time to go ahead and do the work. So. You start doing doing the work and you feel the fulfillment. It's it's not just about um, having the freedom to have your own business and and make your own money and stuff like that. That's wonderful too. But those are side items. The main dish is the fulfillment. The fulfillment of it. You know, when you lay your head down at night, you really maximize that day. You really have it good. You know, you, you live in your purpose. You know, and mm -hmm. a lot of people are not doing that. They're living what they've been told to live. I agree totally and that's exactly why I am interviewing you today is because my focus I want to be able to show people that you know when you want to make an impact in the world and you have that why it just drives you forward but I want other people to hear your story as well so that you know they can see that oh you know everyone has a different story but we all figure it out differently and we come to it differently like you kept getting your your dings or pings as you call it yeah. now yeah. what what was it that you got was it a thought that would come to you all the time um, other than people telling you or was it this feeling that you had inside like h how did you get these from when you were six well it's first of all you know um you find yourself different from everyone else. Not different as in, you know, you have a bigger head or something <laughs> like that. You just find yourself, you know, like flowing another way than everyone else. Mm -hmm. And um, for me, uh, I get these in, uh, you can call them, what's, what's the word for? I don't have the word. You get these, like this, this flow in you that tells you, say this, say that. Oh. Do that. Mm -hmm. you know inside of you and um and and, and it, it works every time like let me give you an example uh it's a, a young lady she's um I'm, i've never met her and we was at this conference uh client attraction uh -huh. with Fabian Fred, Fred, 
Frederickson. Yeah, I, I've heard of her. Uh, I appreciate you know her. And uh, we was at, at, this, at the hotel, and there was a breakout session. Uh -huh. And she was looking at investing $10,000. And she wasn't sure. She was like, no, that's too much money. No, I don't want to do that. And I didn't know this lady. And I just, you know, bumped into her, and I just started talking to her. And it was probably about maybe five minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, before the breakout, the breakout session was like a breakout, like really go to the bathroom, like 15 minutes. Yeah. And um, within five minutes, it changed the course of her life. And um, now she, now she, her business blew up. She went in and invested 10 grand right then, all not payment, just break the check, drop it. You know. Wow. Right. Then. And she, you know, she let me know that it was was because of you. And we're friends now to this day. And that was back in 2014. And um, oh. and her business has skyrocketed. You know, she's keeping up to date, and her business just wow. No, and that's one of the things that give me the fulfillment. It's just it's mm -hmm. it's all intuitive. It's just following within that voice from within saying say that it's a feeling. Sometimes sometimes a literal voice say say this say that. So uh, and it, it's funny. Yeah. Because you get used to it, but at first you're like, oh, it actually worked. Yeah. We get used to it, and, and it does work, and it helps people, you know, it helps them find their why. That's the most important. I hear you say that a lot. Mm -hmm. Are you why? Uh -huh. Because the test is coming. The test is coming to see, do you really want this in your life? Yeah. You know, can you handle the lows as well as the high? Yeah. And then you have that why, that why I'm doing this why this means so much to me why this gives me the, truth. the the money you know it's always saying the money will, will bring you it will it will get you in but it won't keep you yeah <laughs> right i will beat you up <laughs> yeah you know so if you only focus on the money first then why will keep you yeah exactly yeah and that is so true if you only focus on the money first and not the why yeah the money will you know spit you out after a while <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. that's really interesting i'm sure she's so grateful that you helped her at that moment too oh yeah oh yeah her, her business has grown i mean she has vans and you know trucks and all kind of more employees it just really expanded wow that big that's great that is so cool well one of the things that you already started talking about that is my focus about making an impact it sounds like you already have been making an impact for a long time without you even realizing it because i want to share with people you know i think deep down inside everybody wants to make some sort of impact whether it's in their family within their community where they live or some people even want to make an impact in the world you know everyone is in a different place and so i want you to share with everyone like what kind of impact do you want to make like how okay. big do you want to go or just you just tell me what's on your mind okay uh, the impact that i want to make and i'm making is is the fact that first of all you know the world is not as i like to keep things simple and mm -hmm. uh, the people are so used to doing instead of being yes so used to doing instead of being and sometimes i ask the question are you a doer or you just want to be yeah you know because if you be you can be that all the time i mean uh -huh. i can be the best lens that you can ever see <laughs> I can do that in my sleep because you can't even sleep better than me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nobody can do lines better than me. Right. So, um, but everyone wants to be a copy of a copy of a copy. Now, it's nothing mm -hmm. wrong about success bringing clues, so it's nothing wrong with following success tracks. Right. But pivot off and find yourself, but you'll never be happy playing someone else's game. Yeah. You know, so, um, one of the things that has what impact I, I want to make and making in the world is that people already know. They already have the answers within yes. what they will do in their life. Mm -hmm. But they have thought themselves out of it. They have thought themselves out of it, looking at the bills, or they have family, they have kids, they have all these whys to say no to something that every time you go to sleep at night, you wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning with that desire saying, I wish I could, I wish I could. And you're wishing your life away. Yeah. You 
I but agree. You have to do it at a small level, but do it. Get that fulfillment and let it take you where it's where you're supposed to be. So that's my impact to the world is be what you was meant to be and stop trying to tell yourself all these excuses to not be. Mm -hmm. I, I've done it for a long time. I know how it feels. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, thank. That's really awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. So sure. when you work with your clients. Mm -hmm. Is there um, is there a specific part of your coaching that you you have people go through that why process and all of that too? Yes, yes. Um, actually, I ask them, you know, who are you? So a lot of the times, like when you meet we meet someone, they tell you that they're their occupation. Yeah. And it's not their occupation. <laughs> they hate <have> that job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the question is, you have to read the file. Who are you? Are you really a doctor? Or are you really, you just desire to be a dad, you know, a, a, a mom or a loving husband or, mm -hmm. or whatever. Well, be that. You can still work, be a doctor, but yeah. be more of that, or who, who you are. You know, who are you really? I mean, yeah. People have been taught that they're their occupation, they're yeah. what they to be. Mm -hmm. And most of the, what, 80% of the people that graduate with a college degree, uh, they don't go into that profession. <laughs> I know, I've heard that statistic. Because That's crazy. Because they didn't figure out who they really are. Yeah. They just did what they were thought or was told what to do. So get to find the self in you, the higher self in you. You, We all have different fingerprints. Yeah. You know, find out what print are you. What is it? Is. And don't judge it. Mm -hmm. Don't judge it. It's a way that you can actually have a wonderful life doing it, you know. Yeah. Uh, the person became a millionaire off of inventing a pooper scoop. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. Who would have thought, right? <laughs> judge that, that. You know, I would pick up dog poop. You know what I mean? If they would have judged that, they, yeah. they wouldn't have this fabulous life. And then made it convenient for a lot of people. You yeah. know, so right, right. I, Find your why, don't judge it. Don't judge it. Find mm -hmm. your why. Ask yourself, who am I? Really? Yeah. Ask, put the really out there because you're going to talk yourself out of it and mm -hmm. say, well, I'm, if, if you're not your title, especially if it's something that the world says is, is big, like a lawyer or a doctor, mm -hmm. or this and, that. And, um, <laughs> and most of them are stressed out. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yeah. It's the first thing we have to get clear on with my clients is, who are you? And why are you wanting to, what, what blocking you from being who you authentically desire to be? And this is this person. And it's usually it's because of their occupation, what they've been taught, what their parents mm -hmm. have told them, or mm -hmm. what their spouse expected them, or whatever, and they're not being their authentic self. So yeah. one of the things to get clear on is who are you really? Yeah, that's so and important. I just like to fish, really. If I could just fish, you know, well, you know, you can make good money doing that. You know, they have an industry called fishing. Fishing, right, right. I know. My husband wants a boat, so. <laughs> I'm like, oh boy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wow. That's, it sounds really powerful. It sounds like you really, um, you have this amazing coaching business where you get to meet and talk with and help all these wonderful people really come alive it sounds like mm -hmm. yeah and then also people use religion too you know yeah. especially women you know yeah they, when you look at their bottom women are uh, kind of beat up in there a little bit they play a survey role but what if you know and i tell my clients this you know especially they go by the bible and stuff um what if I told you that the Bible is not literal, but it's actually instructions? It's instructions. You know, it is instructions. It's actually instructions yeah. that are written out in a drama. Yeah. And the names in the Bible are states of consciousness. Yeah. You know, so when, when you come at it from that standpoint, like for example, uh, Adam and Eve was in the garden, right? Uh -huh. Okay. And they learned everything in the garden, how to do this and that in the garden, how to be a human in the garden, right? Right. Well, um, what is the first place do you take your kids when they first start school? They go to kinder where? Oh, I never yeah. thought about it like garden. that. Kindergarten. In the garden. They put them right back <laughs> in the garden. So they're teaching these little bitty humans how to be a human in the garden. Like keep your hands to yourself, raise your hands, <laughs> to be stuff like that. So really yeah. the garden in Adam and Eve was really teaching 
Yeah. But why? Really, because you really God in a body. You know, you're really teaching them how to be a human. <laughs> yeah. We all need to learn how to be humans. How to so, be... Well, I, I yeah. use the Bible and uh, for its... Uh, how can I say this? Because it's not popular in America, but I use it for its authentic um, use. Not from its religious standpoint, but authentic use. And, and the, the authentic uses have nothing to do with religion. It's a lesson. It's lessons. And it all points at you. you know, it, all, it all points back at you. Yeah. Well, the Bible is a good thing. It teaches people how to treat each other as well, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's so awesome. It's um, that, that what you're doing. Now, where are you in right now? You're in Georgia? Yeah, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh. Atlanta, Georgia. What's the weather like today? Uh, storming and uh, it's been on and off storms and weather. Uh, it's not too hot today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Eastern time, so you're like six hours ahead of Hawaii, so. Yes, it's 5:11 my time. Ah, okay, awesome. This is <laughs> this is wonderful. You know, I really hope that people get great value out of watching these interviews. Because I think right now, with everything that's happening, we really need to get back to our why and what kind of impact we want to make, even if it's only in our family, you know. Yeah. You know, not everyone wants to make an impact in the world, and that's okay. But, mm -hmm. yeah, I want to thank you so much for doing the work that you're doing and helping. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. I want to add this um, mm -hmm. right away. You know, when you brought up, um, like, especially this time, because it's, it's really uncertain, right? It's uncertain mm -hmm. times. We yeah. didn't see this coming in 2020. Yeah. So this is the thing I want your viewers to know. During uncertain times, there's un well, actually unprecedented times. Yeah. There's unprecedented opportunities. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You have to put your mind that way. You have to put your attention that way. But whatever you put your attention on, it expands. It right. expands and it materializes in a natural way. Mm -hmm. So if you put your attention on how bad it is. Or you can put your attention on what are the opportunities in it. Because uh, for every economic low, there was always a boom later. Mm -hmm. It was always a boom, but it was always the boom for the people that repositioned themselves when it was in that low. Yeah. So we were ready for that boom. You know what I mean? That's a good reminder. Thank you so much for that. Because yeah, over the the last you know two hundred years, that's how it's been. It's always been an up and down every eight to ten years. Seems like it's up and down a lot more, more than eight to ten years now. For but... every up, there's a down. For every down, there's an up. Exactly, exactly. So there's hope, right? Yeah, there's always hope. Yeah. Always hope, but you have to put your attention that way. You can look at it and say, oh, it's getting worse. And you get more of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. I know what that that's like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is so awesome. I really appreciate it. Now, if you want followers or if you want viewers to get in touch with you because they like what you have to say how would you like them to get in touch with you yes uh, thank you for asking you can go to www.lance l-a-n-c-e brooks b-r-o-o-k-s dot com and also you can follow my facebook page as well at i am lance brooks um on facebook you can uh, follow that yeah that's wonderful you know, I was going to ask you, do you coach men and women or do you just specifically do um, either or? Like, it, it, it doesn't matter, but it seems like um, mostly I attract women because women are more, more inclined to say, I need help. Right. They have to pull it in. Right. Not that from, you know, from as a childhood. You know, if, if there's a little boy crying, don't cry. You, you know, you're a man, don't cry. Yeah. You know, a little yeah. girl cries, she can cry as long as she wants to. Daddy won't say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So we've been taught to hold it in so we don't seek help. You know, we're kind of like yes. a goldfish. We're sitting there moving our mouth, but we're not saying anything. <laughs> I agree because my yeah, husband and I, there have been times when we were on a trip on the mainland somewhere and we're not sure where we're going and I'm, you know, I have to look in the map. He's like, we don't need the map. I'll, I'll just drive, you know? It's like, no, we need the map. <laughs> And this was back then too, you know, when we had the map and we didn't have, yeah. um, mm -hmm. you know, Google Maps yeah. and all of that. Mm -hmm. So I, I yeah. understand. That's good though. Wonderful. I, I'm sure you're doing wonderful work with these women. 
But we have a good time, especially now. It's, it's a good, actually, it's a good opportunity time now. Mm hmm. Yeah, a lot more people are really seeking out help and new direction, and yeah, yeah. everyone positioning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your patience with me trying to figure out all of this Facebook stuff and, you know, yeah. Okay. Well, you have a great evening and um, I'm looking forward to see all the wonderful work that you're doing. All right. You take care. Have a good day. Thank you so much. Okay. You're welcome.